How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Cauldron of Burgers YouTube channel. This is a first for the channel today because we're doing a little Cauldron of Burgers product review. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll get right to it. Uh, so, my, my inking setup has been better, but still sort of lame. And uh, I started doing my research, and most cartoonists basically talk about, like, you're not inking right if you don't have the Windsor & Newton Series 7 brush. Now, um, I was under the impression that uh, the number 2 size was like the way to go, and that's what I thought I ordered, but I got a 0 size. Uh, it doesn't seem like uh, that's, I think that, I feel like that's more of a preference thing. So, uh, let's just get right into it. Uh, I'm going to open up this cool little tube they gave me. And uh, I'm just, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to try not to edit this video either. I'm just going to have a honest, genuine review here. Now, it already is like a really fucking small ass brush. Uh, and I got this little uh, wizard drawing that I drew, because I love wizards. I got my India ink right, uh, kind of out of the camera. But uh, yeah, let's just kind of see how this goes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wet the brush. Uh, and then I'm going to... It's like hard, wow. Now, I'm going to sort of... Do a stick to get my thing, and I'm already excited because that was a cool ass... Okay, all right, looks like I'm going to need to get a little more ink on there. But so far, wow, that's really cool. Okay. I don't even think I need to do that little twist thing. I just saw that. Oh, my God, are you freaking kidding me? Look at that. It's awesome. I, I think by putting it in the water, I kind of screwed it up a little bit. But so far, I'm really liking the way that's looking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another. Uh, yeah, gonna, now I'm gonna wet it. And then I'm gonna clean it off just a little bit. Ooh, okay. Get a nice little thing going. I'm gonna dip it in there. I'm gonna keep going. This, but that that tip is like freaking. It's amazing. You get. I, I wasn't expecting it to get this thick of a line weight out of it. Yeah. Ooh. But I'm also I'm like able to get nice points, nice tapers. It's very very cool. I should probably shake up this ink a little bit too. Honestly, I I, I was way too excited to start inking with this that I, I didn't really prepare that well. Ooh, I'm able to sort of be sketchy. I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm inking with like a fucking flexible ass pen. Like an, ac an acrobatic micron pen. Uh, okay. What did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to shake up the ink a little bit. I don't know if I close this the right way. Save your containers. Put your ink in them. That's that's my other tip. Okay. Oh, now that I got ink all over my hands. All right. Ooh, that's so cool. I'm gonna be making a lot of weird noises because I'm. I, I have a feeling I'm getting really into this. Are you freaking kidding me? You know, I gotta say the people on YouTube, on, on comics, uh, comic creator YouTube, they were right. Just even the, the sable hair brushes, I feel a difference even from uh, the old brush that I used. Because the old brush that I used was this, uh, it's one of those like, I don't even know what you call it. It's a, let me see if I have it actually. 
Yeah, it's, it's this guy right here. It's this like sort of I think I don't know what the name brand is, but it was it was a it was a gift from a friend, and you like load cartridges into it. And uh, I eventually I never could find the right cartridges for it again, so I just started dipping it. And for a while it, it did the trick, but I, I definitely felt like I just needed an upgrade. Being that I switched from Micron pens to the Speedball uh, cartooning like pen and uh, nib set. I guess you call it a dip pen or something, but oh my god, this is so cool. Like the, the amount of variety that I'm getting out of these um, strokes is like incredible. I'm like really fucking stoked. Now, uh, my only, um, what's the, what's the word? My only fear is that I'm not going to take care of them, right? Because I also suck with that. So if anyone's got any tips on uh, maintenance as far as uh, these sable hair brushes go, I know I could always Google it, but I like to talk to people, so, uh, oh, that's a bullshit line, okay. So, hit me up, HMU, if you will. Uh, let me wash that off a little bit. This is crazy. I can only imagine, like, the amount... I mean, I'm already getting such thick... Uh, thicker lines that I even need with this size number zero. So I don't even think I would need the, the number two. I mean, I guess maybe that's subject to change, being that I guess I'm in the puppy love phase of this brush right now, being that I'm trying something new. But, man, I'm really... really into this right now. Look at that. How does it look on the camera? It's cool. I'm gonna stop talking now and maybe I'll give my first impressions and I'll maybe I'll do a little time lapse like right here and uh we I'll I'll, I'll say a bunch of stuff after, but I'm gonna get into this now. So uh it's it's about to go really fast. cut it off here I'm gonna finish the drawing but before I do that I'm just gonna give my overall first impression I feel like Austin Powers when he got his mojo back I feel I feel like King Arthur when he pulled out fucking Excalibur out of that rock's ass I feel amazing this is seriously such a nice 
brush. I, I will probably most likely use this. I it's a combination between this and my uh, pen and, and ink. My 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 what do you call it? The speedball cartooning uh, pen dip pen set. Whatever the f I really just messed that up. But um, yeah, there's a lot of these like textures and things that I was I couldn't get with my other brush and nor could I get with the nib but this seriously is just just blew my mind so if you're in the business of inking uh, you don't need me to tell you but you could I mean you could go on YouTube and probably have someone else tell you or maybe even a professional it is the Windsor Newton series 7 um, this is the size zero. I, I'm pretty sure they said the size two is like the standard, but this really for me works works perfectly fine. Uh, so I guess it really is a matter of preference. So I'm gonna finish this drawing now, and uh, yeah, I I feel all the happy chemicals flowing through my brain right now. I feel incredible after using this. Uh, sounds like maybe that's just like a me thing, but. Uh, I'm not sure, but all right, it's going fast again. I'll see you later.